Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to War on the Sea, a new game out by Killerfish Games, the developers of Cold Waters and Atlantic Fleet, and this is episode number 32 of my Let's Play series, playing this game as the Allies. We've just come off a major victory off the coast of Milne Bay, where the Japanese are in the midst of an invasion uh, on the tip of New Guinea, and we destroyed a reinforcement convoy of six merchant ships carrying probably several thousand enemy infantry as well as supplies uh, to the battle there. We caught them out at sea, we engaged them with heavy cruisers, we engaged them at long range, and we slowly whittled them down. We used every single round on our heavy cruisers, ran out of ammo, but at the end of the day, we managed to sink all the transports and we sank all the destroyers in one heavy cruiser, and just a lone enemy heavy cruiser escaped. And so that's great news for our Marines fighting it out uh, on Mill Bay. And in today's episode, we are picking things up where we left off uh, as we continue this episode. This was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, so just keep that in mind. Uh, there's a little bit of back and forth with the audience. I've debated trying to see if there's a way to throw the chat up in the corner of the screen, but these streams are actually still several weeks old, so I do need to catch up before I would be able to do that. Um, with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right back into the stream, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts down below, and uh, on, I'll catch you guys at the end. Oh yeah, and if you are interested in participating in these types of streams, I do try to stream three to four days a week, usually starting around eight or nine o'clock Central Standard Time uh, and streaming for a couple of hours. Uh, more during the week than on the weekends. I know that's not great timing for like European viewers, and I, I'm sorry about that, guys. But at the end of the day, uh, it's just that's just the schedule that that personally uh, works for me. I would like to do some daytime streams, and and maybe I'll be able to do that every once in a while on the weekends. Uh, but that's just kind of the reality. With that being said, if you are interested in joining those streams, I think I already said this, but there's a link in the description. Check that out. You can find my Twitch channel, uh, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hmm. Not sure I'm a huge fan of the Perth. They're better torpedoes than the Yank ones, that's sure. That's for... Ah, fine, whatever. We'll do it. All right, so the Perth, the Hobart. Why, don't we, why not the Perth itself? The Perth is unavailable, so all we can choose from is the Hobart or the Sydney. Um, all right. That's 36 points. I've got 18 more. It does kind of prevent me from being able to put a, a heavy crew, another heavy cruiser in the task force. So let's go with... I can't afford a Cleveland. Damn it! Sorry, Grandpa! I don't even know if his ship is in Oklahoma City. It's my Grandpa's ship! Can't afford her. Um... Can afford the Brooklyn. We want to go with the Brooklyn. We could do another Atlanta. We've got just enough for that. Let's do another Brooklyn. All right. Uh, meanwhile, since these are light cruisers, I can go ahead and throw some cargo on them. So we can. Oh, not the Hobart, apparently. Huh. All right, that's the New Orleans Hobart there. So we can put 250 more troops on the Brooklyn. And we'll go ahead and uh, let me choose them. Okay. All right. So now I have 750 troops, two destroyers, two light cruisers, and a heavy cruiser. On the way to Milne Bay to reinforce our boys. The heavy cruiser will give me the scout plane, so that's good. The six-inch gunned light cruisers, with the the sheer amount of guns they have on them, probably with some some you know work could could do some work on Japanese heavy cruisers, I would think. Uh, this is not a restart, Lord Death Hand. I have been considering a restart, although feeling a little bit better about myself after that last. Victory, so maybe we'll hold off on the restart for the time being. All right, so speed there. All right, so we need to bring in more engineers to Rennell. So let's go ahead and load these troops up. Get 
them out that way too. All right. So, sender boys. All right, so it is nighttime, by the way. Our heavy cruisers arrived unmolested off the coast of Guadalcanal. All right, so now let's bombard them. Shore bombardment. Take a look at Guadalcanal. Two, three. Boom. Two, three still. Fuck. Boom. Two, two. So we knocked out one of the airfields. So it stays at 2-2. Two, two. We dropped the airfield by 1. I used all the ammo, so we're going to sprint these guys back to New Hebrides now to rearm. I'm thinking they'll be able to... So it's they'll have 5... Just shy of 8 hours before the sun comes up. So they'll be right around here when the sun comes up. They should be mostly out of there. Hopefully they don't run into anything on their way out. Our sub is patrolling north of Guadalcanal. Not sure where the Japanese shipping would come in. Task Force 7. What is it getting hit by? So there's some something is coming in the way of about 1,700 Marines on their way to Milne Bay. I don't like the location of this. This makes me worried they're stumbling into a Japanese force in the early morning hours. You think it's subs? Well, there's only one way to be sure. Speed and hard over. Everybody. Speed and hard break. Speed and hard over. Speed. I can always reform if it's, you know, if it's an enemy surface task force, I'm going to be trying to get over, out of there anyway. All right, meanwhile, radars and sonar. Not that you're going to hear anything going flank speed, but... Won't let me leave for at least 180 seconds. Any sign of fish in the water? Nothing as far as I can see. Rudder amidships, rudder amidships, rudder amidships. Ominous music playing. Can I leave, please? I don't want to fight. I certainly don't want to fight an enemy task force. Unless they're just destroyers. But we can't spot anything, so I'm guessing it's a sub. I mean, it's a little gamey for me to just be like, Yep, hard over, boys. Right away, before you even see a problem. The fact that I'm being brought into the game, I know there's a problem. Must have been a sub. Maybe it didn't fire a spread yet? Um, okay. I wonder, I haven't checked to see, does the moonlight change? I mean, weather, visibility, maybe visibility change, but I'm curious if the moonlight actually changes throughout the course of a, of a month. Something is wrong. Tell the entire formation to break formation and hard over. But sir, why? Because I've got the sixth sense. 
<laughs> Con? Yeah, right? Con sonar. Crazy Ivan. Crazy Ivan. Well, no one's blown up yet, shoe event, so... I had a mini heart attack for a second. Looking from a distance, I thought this the wake of my ship here was a was a torp. All right, let's get out of here. Doesn't tell me what it was if I don't spot it. Keep on your present course. Enemy ship spotted near Thresher. What do we got here, boys? Two heavy cruisers and two destroyers. Thresher, remember, suffered moderate damage. But no flooding. So it's time to go to work, Thresher. Give me some more Japanese heavy cruisers. Alright, before we do this attack, I do need to step away. I think for just a second here. Where are the enemy ships? Why am I showing them my ass? Alright, let's turn the other direction. Sir, they're behind us. All right, what do we got here? Three turreted cruiser. They're both three turreted heavies. So they're kind of weak heavies. They're in the baffles. All right, let's go ahead and pause. I'm not, I can't actually recognize them at the moment because they're not... Uh, Is this the Aoba? I, I feel like that's what the Aoba looked like. By the way, why would you have a heavy cruiser with just three tool, dual inch guns? In my mind, that seems like a waste. A gun platform. I guess the Renown and the Repulse did it with the battle cruisers, but. I'd say that, you know, you saw how that turned out, but. It's not like they got sunk because they had three turrets. Yeah, it looks like the Aoba. So I think they're both Aobas. I think they're the Aoba and the Kin. Kinugase. The first early heavy cruisers. Still, you should know better than to put just three turrets on these things. They're basically like just, they're like the Deutschland class pre-dreadnoughts. Whatever, not enough guns. They could be upgunned. Really? Huh, okay. To what? Were they going to turn them into battle cruisers? Alright. Turn the ship faster. Flank speed. Rudder amidship. Get ahead of him, boys. Give me that math. Math angles here for you. Wow, it's letting me time compress all this way? What's the range now? Range to target. Should we target the rear ship? Would that give us a chance to hit the forward ship? 2,000 yards. Aoba. Target classified as Aoba class heavy cruiser. Six torpedoes on an eight, five degree spread. She's moving at 26 knots. We've got a 68% solution on her. We're inside 2,000 yards. All right. I think if I fire now, we may hit the lead. Let's do it. I don't know why it's only a 60% solution, but we're going to fire. Firing torpedo. Or are you not? Do I have to order you to attack? Oh, no. 
The solution's got to start all over again? Oh, because they switched targets. Fuck. That's why. Well, that's not great. This is going to be a terrible angle. Fire. My bad. Mistakes were made. Time compression's not available, sir. You fired your torpedoes. All right. Bring us down to 150 feet. Oh, God. That's a terrible... Well, no, they should... So they'll veer left, I think. Yeah, they're veering already. But that's going to be like a... They're going to try and hit the hull at like a 45-degree angle, so... Good to know, Lieutenant Foot. Or Light Foot. Not Lieutenant Foot. Actually, I want you to bring it up to 30, 30 feet, 3 feet again. Maybe we'll get some rear rear tor torpedo tube action in. God, I botched that so bad. I had the perfect position to fire, and I screwed it up because I had the wrong target, so then I had to wait for the fire control to, to get a solution back. I should have just switched back to the lead target. These guys are like... The fish are running almost... <laughs> almost parallel to the damn task force. These guys are going to have, like, a four-knot advantage on them. That's it. Don't tell me what's going to happen. We can't even spot them? surface so they turn to engage me I guess I could do that that might be a way to get myself killed though I feel like I'll die before I can let's do this can we bring it up to 20 feet maybe they'll see me open fire and turn that destroyer might actually get hit Ten feet? You still can't see me. I'm right there, guys. You've got the worst lookouts in the history of the world. Hey, we got the destroyer with a hit. Uh. They're going to turn into these things, aren't they? All right, let's go back down to 30 feet. This cruiser's gonna turn into these things almost. By the way, I'm amazed at how many torpedoes the damn enemy destroyers can take. Isn't it like one destroyer, one torpedo and a destroyer's pretty much sunk? I would think. Oh, they're not gonna hit. He's speeding up and driving away. Okay. Why can't I see anything? Is it my scope up? If my scope is up, do you get radar? I'm going to fire rear tubes against this enemy ship. When he comes after me. These are real bearings though, not not tr not based on my ship. All right. I'm curious to see if this guy survives. I think this is one of their slightly more modern destroyers with those turreted 
guns. Looks like they got the fire out, at least the fire on the deck. But she's listing pretty bad, so maybe we'll get her. Although she's not dead in the water, so she'll probably survive. What are these things? These look like bombs on the back there. Meanwhile, the Fabuki is trying to charge me. I guess they're probably both Fabuki classes. Oh, look at that nice little torpedo. Is that the periscope right there? Just chilling up there? Yeah. I want you to be closer than 2,500 yards before I shoot. Das boat was better. American subs were famous for their uh, engaging enemy escorts. Gotta be more aggressive, right? If you Fubuki, you have to clean it up. Okay, come on, Fubuki. Come on, come on. I guess I could slow down and lure you in. I have my active sonar on, by the way, but that's probably pointed the wrong direction. Depth charges? Really? They look like bombs. Well, we might die, boys. But we'll at least go out shooting. They're coming in on 17 knots. Make sure the claymore is pointed face toward the enemy. Solution is as good as it could be. I just wonder if the range are they gonna are they gonna get out of the way? Should we do should we fire two with no with like a two degree spread there and just see? Or should we just fire dead on? I can't tell if she's maneuvering at all. Doesn't look like it. Let's let's just fire one tu tube. Well, let's fire two. Could be a dud. No spread. Alright, we'll see what happens here. I can always do a spread with the remaining two tubes. She's coming right for us! Ned, she's coming right for us. It was self-defense. You saw that. Look at that majestic, a majestic Fabuki-class destroyer. There's only a few of them left in the world. She's coming right for us. Think it's going to miss? It's real close. Boom! Boom! Two torpedoes right down the throat. I gotta imagine two torps and she's a gonna. She's still moving though. She's losing speed though. She's down to 14 knots. Well, no, 14. Seriously? You ain't dead yet? You're still charging me, you bastard? Doesn't even look like she's moved. She's changed her heading at all. She's still making 15 knots. That's nuts to me. Two torpedoes right down the throat. She's still... I guess her, her engine compartment wasn't hit or anything, but still. I just am kind of surprised, like, they made a sub game. And yet, in this game... Are they both duds? No, they're both duds. Oh, I should probably be diving, huh? 
I'm just kind of surprised that uh, they made a sub game and yet the ships are so dumb with regards to torpedoes. Like, these guys made cold waters. AIs didn't always wait to die before they, they reacted. Hopeless noob, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I'm diving and turning. I'm still not sure how that guy survived two explosive torpedoes down the, down the throat. Like, how is this guy not dead? Flooding should be getting to him or something. Let's see the graphic when your sub gets depth charge sunk by depth charges. Where's this guy's depth charges even? What are they where are they gonna roll from? I don't even see depth charge racks. Maybe these tiny ass things under the guns? All right, they're coming right over me. Are they going to drop? I would think, that, I mean, if, if it's possible to destroy the enemy sonar, two torpedoes on the bow of the ship probably would have destroyed their sonar. Although, maybe it's toward the middle of the ship. I'm not sure. Are they going to drop anything? Well, they're not... They don't seem to be doing anything at the moment. Yeah, I mean, she should have no bow left. She should have just, like, gone under. Now she's turning away at 18 knots. Is she going to run back to the fleet? The... <laughs> The fish we the the sub the destroyer we hit with a single fish looks worse off than the one we hit with two. Not in the rear of the ship. Rear tubes are empty at the moment. We got we're reloading. We've got two torpedoes ready in the front. If they cut in front of me, we can always surface, but with this amount of maneuvering, I'm not sure we'd be able to hit much of anything anyway. And then, of course, the second two shots from the stern were both duds. She's not even down by the bow at all. Give me a break. Is there any layer, by the way? There's a layer, no layer, no duct. Well, there's only a duct if there's a layer, right? She might have picked us up there. She turned real quick back toward us, although maybe she's just doing circles and hunting. She has... It just says depth charge. Type depth charge. Okay. I wonder if she's glitched out and she's just going to do this. I mean, she's moving at 23 knots. There's no way she can hear us at that speed. I'd be tempted to bring us up to periscope depth. The only reason I'm, I'm not sure I want to is with the way she's circling here, she might ram me. Ah, good one, Captain Ramius equalizer there. Good one. Or that's not Captain Ramius, right? That's that's what the uh, American Americans say. Listen, you guys, no risk it, no biscuit. Let's bring it up to periscope depth and try and throw one downer. We lost her. We can't see her, Captain. 
Yeah, I know we're at 60, 70 feet. Although I would think you could hear her, even if she's in our baffles. We've got a rear tube reloaded, right? One. Raise the scope. I want that scope out as I'm coming up. Is she slowing down? Sounded like she was slowing down there for a second. Come on. We're at 30 feet. You can't see her? She's right there. She's at 1,400 yards and basically circling. Come on right at me, sir. Charge me, Fabuki. Charge me. I'll give you another one right down the throat. How did I lose contact? I, She's right there, you dumbass. Sir, we can't see her. Oh, nope. Yeah, we can. Just kidding. By the way, I think this other enemy destroyer is coming out to play. She's headed toward us also. All right. I'll see. If she can see me, I'll let her charge me. But she should be firing at my periscope. She's still burning full of anger. She seems to know where I am, though. She's charging right at me, so I'm going to guess she sees my periscope. I don't think I killed the front guns, Lord Death. I've never seen the game's escorts fire at a sub unless it's, you know, fully surfaced. Which is weird, because in Atlantic Fleet, which is a game made by the same the same team, well, maybe not the same team, they've had some turnover, but is a game made by the same company, um, you know, they did fire at periscopes, so... I know that's turn-based and this is real-time, but still, that feels like a bug that they should iron out. We're going to have a second fish ready here in 32 seconds. I'm going to fire them both, because, you know, they, one of them might be a dud. I'm going to wait till around 700 yards to shoot down their throat. Zero a degree spread. Two tubes. Then we'll swing to the right and try and go after the other one, which is coming at us that we torpedoed before. Alright, second tube ready. We'll fire at, should we say, a thousand yards? Since it doesn't seem like they change course, they sure are coming right for me. They're coming right for us! Fire! Torpedoes out. Right turn. Let's bring it around on target three. Two tubes running hot, straight, and normal. A little bit off to the right, but I'm assuming the gyro will correct when they arm. Please. Gyro seems to be correcting. I think I see a, a veer in the fish here. Did we miss? Looks like we missed. Fuck. We missed. They go right underneath the damn ship? Alright, rudder midship. Guess we need to take her down, because she's about to run right over the top of me. How far out is that other ship? Still a ways. Back full, right turn, periscope depth, do it.
I fired the front tubes. They're gonna run right ahead of the enemy ship. Fuck. Do you have any other front tubes loaded? We do. Fire again. Oh, they're circling. Oh god. <laughs> well, we've had this happen before. Maybe it'll make it a cir little circle around and hit the enemy destroyer. These guys look like they might be circling too. Yeah, this worked for us before. They're circling too narrow, I think, unless these guys make a, a sharper turn. Can't see where the other two went. That sun can't make it out. Yeah, I think he's inside the circle. I'm not sure he knows where I am. He's not depth charging. He's cutting in front of me. He's hunting, but I'm not sure he's like hearing anything. I refuse to be frightened by you, P. Warner. We are not diving. He's still hunting. Maybe he'll run into one of these fish still. Not on this loop, but maybe the next. No, not diving, you cowards. I refuse to be stampeded into a precipitous action. Yeah, he's not going to get a hit. He's inside that arc, and he's not hes not sticking around. Do we have... We're two minutes away from having another fr forward tube ready. Rear tubes are ready now, but he'd have to be behind me for me to shoot. Obviously. Okay. Let's let's show him our stern. Second guy is closing in. Yep. Slowly. I still can't get over the fact that this guy's in worse shape than the guy hit with two fish. So that Fabuki's getting kind of close. We're turning the wrong way. Let's turn the other way. I'm also going backwards. Let's accelerate. Does he have a beat on me? It sure seems like it. Alright, bring it down. 200 feet, flank speed. I think we're going to eat some depth charges here, maybe. Ice breaking armor on the nose. Perhaps. He is passing behind me, though. So if he doesn't drop, I can just come right back up. There's the charges. Left full. He is detonating them like almost on the surface. We're down to 80 feet. These guys are kind of close. No damage, it says. I thought we started the battle with moderate damage. Oh, God. Oh, moderate damage. We got hit in the prop. Oh, fuck. Propeller and rudder. If we lose our, our forward momentum, we're going to have to blow. We can still control by ballast, maybe. Can I escape? What will happen first? Will we hit crush depth? Or can I, can I wait three minutes and escape out of the battle? We're losing depth as we've lost our propulsion. Still says we're making nine knots, though. 
So maybe we actually... So that entire compartment's dead. It's flooded, there's no integrity, you can't do any damage control in a compartment with no integrity. What are we at right now? How deep can this thing go? Blow all tanks, man the deck gun. I'm just trying to wait to blow until... I mean, I don't even know that it'll work. At 250, will emergency blow. I don't know if that'll restart the timer. It should. But from a, like, game design perspective, but... We're still making nine knots, really? Blowing main ballast. All right, we're coming. Whoa, we're coming up fast. I think we're going to surface before that minute's up. You can see that we're coming up at about three feet a second. You don't think I'll surface with a blow ballast? Sure looks like we're coming up pretty quick. We got 50 seconds. Finally, English Japanese phrase book. Ninety feet. Thirty seconds. Fifty feet. I mean, it's set to 130. I've got no propulsion. I'm coming up. Pause. So, we can wait 12 seconds and hope he doesn't ram me or I can try and shoot back. He shot an airburst. What the fuck? Is that a star shell, maybe? But it's 7 in the morning. Well, here's the thing, Newhauser. If I shoot, then this timer starts over. So, I'm going to try and gamble. You just need to survive 12 seconds, guys. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> okay, since it's on the surface, the game's like, nice try. Nice try. I can't wait 12. It's it's over. Look, it reset to 180 or 190. So. We'll fire a 5-inch gun. I guess with HE. Oh, wait, the Fubuki we hurts way back here. The torpedoes are still running in circles, by the way. Maybe we'll get lucky and one of those will hit someone. A hit! Oh my god! Hit! Oh, we're already going down, boys. We're already going down. You can see the back of the ship is taking damage. And we're sinking. <sighs> oh, come on. So close to getting hit by these things. Guten Tag, Herr U-Boat Commandant. Not so well, Drach. We are dying. That's that's what just happened. I still don't know how we hit this guy with two torpedoes on the bow that both exploded and he didn't... Somehow, he didn't sink. Ugh. Nesquizor, Notorious No-Face, Count Count... Fire, Chris. All thank you for the follows. Appreciate them. Oh, 
Well, I guess we gotta get out of here. You guys, we hit the Fubuki with two torpedoes that exploded, and it said minor damage. The Fubuki that we hit with one torpedo says heavy and moderate. Give me a break! Ugh. Damage saturation? I still think one torpedo up the, up the snout of any destroyer is probably going to sink it in this era. Maybe we'll just pretend they were duds, okay? It's about the only way it makes sense to me. But we'll pretend they were duds for the sake of it. All right, so our new task force is headed out toward Milne Bay with the New Orleans, Brooklyn, Hobart, McDonnell, and the Farragut. The Milne Bay force there is... Eh, it's about an even fight right now. Port Moresby, meanwhile, they're about to surrender. Drach 19... 1200, thank you for the follow. Um, is this guy in good shape? Take a look at his, uh, his his cargo situation here. No damage. So, Rennell needs more supply. That's why she's out of supply, because we upgraded the base. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's go ahead and can we load her up with some supplies, or is she not close enough to the port yet? I don't think she's close enough to the port. Columbaranga. Oh, the Japanese took one of the unoccupied bases. Not too worried about that. All right. So, manage cargo through this cargo on the, the ship, and then we'll go ahead and send these guys out to Rennell. All right. Have I thought about launching float planes for my cruisers? I have done it. That's how we spotted the last enemy task force, but these cruisers here don't have any float planes. They're all Atlantis, which don't have any. Um, these cruisers down here are going down to rearm. So, I don't really think there's a need to do that there. Um, and then, these cruisers are too far away for the float planes to matter. I mean, I guess I could, could try and maybe look for Japanese submarines. That's fair. I'd rather use my B-17s for that. So, let's scout out ahead to make sure there's no subs in the path of my merchant ships, which are on their way up to Rennell. Doesn't look like it. All right. Meanwhile, this task force, 11 back here. These are the guys who just fought that surface action, right? No, they're the ones who bombarded Guadalcanal. So we're going to actually go ahead and release this task force. To get their points back. So it gives me 76 points, which is just shy of enough for a battleship. Or carrier, for that matter. Uh, and McGill, we destroyed a Japanese uh, surface task force with some cargo ships that looked like it was on the way to help out Milne Bay. Um, in a pretty long battle. It was about an hour and 40 minutes of the stream. Now we're just doing some logistics. Bringing some extra fuel into Rennell. Bringing some extra engineers into Rennell. Bringing up the troops from Guadalcanal into Milne Bay. All right, so these guys unload the fuel. So the Cameron is going to head back. That's all the fuel we have right now, so we may just release that tanker. Um, okay. And maybe form up a battleship, a very small battleship task force, perhaps. I'm invaded, being invaded in the top right. Yeah, it's Santa Cruz Islands. I don't have the troops to throw this back. The problem is the AI basically has unlimited troops. So I can really only fight them at one place at a time. So these guys are going to die. We're going to lose Santa Cruz Islands. The, the one benefit is there's no airfield or port there. And if the Japanese do try and build it up, we're close enough to New Hebrides that I think we can just sort of sprint task forces forward to uh, to bombard the place into nothing. We should probably actually do a little bit of, of reconnaissance to make sure there's no Japanese task forces coming down toward New Hebrides. Cameron does not have troops. She's an oiler. So we just dropped her fuel on Rennell Island. 
So you can see Rennell now has 300 fuel, which is enough to upgrade this to a level 3 port. But we need 300 more engineering. We have 100 on the way on this C3, but it's going to take two more weeks to get enough engineering to upgrade that base. Meanwhile, Port Morsby is about to fall. We're down to 400 troops there. All right, can these guys unload their cargo yet? Nope. All right, you got to get closer. All right. All right, so we've unloaded all of our troops at Milne Bay. Brings us an additional 1,900 troops. You can see the Japanese are now outnumbered on the island. We do need a little bit more supply there. So I think that's kind of the next task, is to bring some additional supplies into the base. Meanwhile, we'll leave these Atlanta classes here for the time being. Uh, we will split these guys off. Send them back to New Hebrides. Unescorted, because I want to keep the Atlantas guarding Milne from any Japanese reinforcements until this new task force arrives. They'll also be carrying another 750 soldiers. So that'll bring us up over 8,000. <laughs> yep, I went for the unescorted single transports, but there's a reason for that. We haven't sunk all their subs. They still have like 10 left. But you can see we pretty badly devastated their submarine force. Oh, that's ours. So you can see they lost two B1s here. Three subs here. So for five, eight, ten... 13. So they've lost 13 subs out of a total force of 26 that they have. So they've lost quite a few subs. 318 aircraft total, 53 ships, 322,000 tons. Meanwhile, we have lost 25 ships, 156,000 tons. In terms of the repair times, you can see the North Carolina has five more days to repair. She took two torpedoes when we tried to get her up to Guadalcanal to bombard. Uh, we've got several other ships here that are all under repair at the moment. All right, and that's where we left off with this particular stream. I think we're in the final two minutes or so of this stream. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and wrap this episode up. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another episode. Unfortunately, we did have a really weird situation with one of our submarines attacking a Japanese destroyer with torpedoes, getting two hits, and the enemy destroyer still, somehow, uh, it didn't sink. And so uh, we kind of were dealing with almost what felt like an unsinkable destroyer. I can't think of another case in history where a destroyer was hit by two torpedoes and survived. One, yes. Two, that seems like a, a heavy a heavy task. But I guess the American torpedoes kind of suck anyway. Maybe there was some sort of like partial detonation or something. In any event, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream and the episode. And as always, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time. I'm out. Bye-bye.